Prophet Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Cool. Thank you for the technician. Talo falava. Namaste. Hula vinaka and malo elelei to you all, our listeners, our viewers. I'd like to welcome each and every one of you to our program tonight. Uh, before we, we carry on, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you. I don't need to introduce myself. I know most of you, our viewers, our listeners, most of you already know me. Uh, but before I, I carry on, let me say a word of prayer to start our program tonight before we carry on. Father, we thank you for tonight. Thank you for everything that you have done for us. Thank you for the sunrise, the sunset that we have every day, Father. As we're about to commence our program tonight, we invite your Holy Spirit to be with us, Lord, to dwell in us, to speak in us, Lord, tonight. Whatever we're going to share tonight, Lord, may that be a mean of drawing us closer and closer and closer to you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please excuse me, our... our not our foreigners, you know, the non Tongan speakers. Let me introduce myself in, in my language first, and then I'll come back to you. Go dari dari fia fia ki mo dolgo da beg mo kau fra ta mai he da polo kalama o e fia fini. Pea go dui beg o silave i ki mo dolgo ya he da polo kalama nga maheni go da beg fai neongo na ya ki taimi na fai ki mavahe mai ki holiday. Uh, studio, coming live, Tania, uh, uh, greatly, greatly, um, indeed a great pleasure for me to express my sincere thanks, express all my grateful for the Elohim broadcasting, for the opportunity, for the chance that we have in this platform to share the gospel with all our viewers and all our listeners. Um, I'd like to, to say thank you, Pastor Fiso, for still having us here on our program. I know I've been away too long, but thank you. Thank you for having me back on. And I know uh, some of the viewers, maybe some of the viewers missed me during that time that I was away. Uh, and also I'm Fita Moala, uh, I'm really, happy to be here tonight to join you all and also it is indeed a blessing to have pastor Dokavai Nicola with me tuning live from Tonga from the friendly island of Tonga so before I get carried away please allow me to introduce pastor Dokavai Nicola and hand over the time to pastor Doka to introduce himself before I come back to me for the first part of our program. There you go, Pastor Doka. Thank you very much. Welcome to the friendly island of Tonga. And uh, I'm speaking from here. And my name is Toka Vainikolo. My wife is Eva. Eva is a uh, sister Indian. And uh, my elder son is Rahul. And uh, my younger son is uh, Alex. Um, we have been in India for some time. And uh, we are back here to Tonga. Wow. And then uh, we are working along with uh, Ifu Fe Mission, and we are part of Ifu Fe Mission here in Tonga. And uh, I'm so happy to be part of this uh, uh, session. And uh, thank you, <laughs> Ifita, for inviting me. My and I pleasure. know it is uh, <laughs> I run away, but I'm, I'm looking forward to be part of this uh, program. And now. Uh, I'm so happy. Praise God for everyone. And maybe it is one uh, by English or someone or Fijian. I can. Uh, <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
Mm. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Doka. Uh, viewers, listeners, you have heard the gentleman, Pastor Doka, has introduced himself. He's married with two boys. Doka, before we start our, uh, before we start with the word of God, you did mention that you were in, you were away from Tonga for some time. Uh, your, your wife is an Indian. And please let me start here because it is, it is nice for our viewers, for our listeners, because this program will be uh, aired every week. Every week, every Monday night, our program will be aired. And it's nice for our viewers and for our, our listeners to know who you really are and what are you doing in Tonga? What were you doing in the past? And you know, what are you currently doing in Tonga? So you did mention that you were away for some time from Tonga. Can you please uh, talk about that or uh, the journey that you have came through, or please? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Vivita. And uh, I know it is um, to be uh, sent out from Tonga to India. India. I think uh, to be a missionary in India, I think it is uh, really a challenge as an islander to go from a less population people to a billion yeah. people. Wow. And I know it is a really a kind of a talk of a mind and heart. And, uh, but the oh. only one thing is, um, I might talk more about it later, but one of the thing you hang on to God because you miss in a population of 7 million, it's a, a small city of wow. uh, 7 million. And then now uh, you're trying to understand Tonga is only uh, 100,000. And you pick up from Tonga and drop to a 7 million and to a 65 million in a state. Election. 1% are Christian. I think it is really spin your mind. <laughs> to exactly. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. May I ask, Doka? What were you doing in India and what, what took you to India at the first place? Uh, I did my um, training with WAWAM, the School of Friend, uh, Discipleship. And then the first week of the school, we are uh, teaching the student to hearing God's voice. Right. At this point, God was calling me to India. And then uh, I went through and follow and then I did it in 95, and then I left from Tonga in 1997. 97. And, uh, and I came back from India in 2010. After wow. 13 years in India, what a beautiful country. Huh, good, and experience so too. <laughs> and good experience, too. Good experience, too. Wow. Going from a small uh, country to a, a big country with huge population. Must right. be a good experience to you to explore yeah. the whole world and see what it's like there. And I know there were changes in your life, in your personal life. There were struggles too, but in that part, we will discuss that later with our right, Bible right. teacher yeah. tonight. Yeah. Right. For Feda Elahike Eki Kai Ngatonga, Kimo Toko Topik Mo Me Amai Ke Tau Polo Kalama Wa Efea Fini, Ko Au Fita Pua Moala, Ko Fia Fia Keu Kau Fataha Heni, Pea Mo Faife Kau Toka Vai Ni Ko Lo Pea Me Itonga He Efea Fini. Ko Polo Kalama Ko Eni, Ko Faka Hoko Atu Ia Ihe Ahoni, Ihe Ni Ma Ki He Fitu, Ihe Taimi Ko Anu Sila Pea Mo Tonga Na, Ka Ihe Mo Ni Te Wike Ka Ha Ua Hoko Hoko Atu Ai, Ko Ema Taimi Tu Pau, Ko Ehi Va Efea Fi, Ki He Ta Ha Ta Ha Po Uri. ฟังกันว่าเป็นตัวกันเกี่ยวกับอ่าไม่เหตุใดมีก็ยังยังฮีวายังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังยังย
oku tavaka i kahe te afini ka faveta i koe i ki oku he kamata anga pe a koe a pe i he ngata anga faveta i lahi ke i ki well welcome back everyone if you just happen to tune in welcome to our program I'm Fita Pua Moala and I'm here with Pastor Toka Vainikolo from Tonga our Bible text for tonight is uh, from the book of John chapter 16 and verse 33 only one verse only one verse tonight but i know that one verse maybe pastor toka has already cooked us something you know delicious for us tonight to eat from anyway. <laughs> praise the lord anyway uh, Pastor Toka, please allow most of our viewers, most of our listeners are non Tongan speakers. Mogada ki peka inga Tonga, kapa wogu ke me amai ki turi turi mai peke vave vave, kaudu iko eko le a fakapita ni a te tau taha ka to peki ai. Yeah, kane ongo ya te ma feinga pe motoka homa le le taha he bui ai peni he kai ke na usi ma usi a ke kau he le a fakapita ni a boya kau pehe. E feinga toka hele fa pita ni a kau feinga toka hele fa tonga fai ba tarele ita ha toka e toko ni ma eki ke tili ma eki feka we poni kau tu gia i peta e aonga gia he koe foi lau mari e ta ha fai ve kau toka koe foi lau mari e kane tari eki pe aongo a tu gia he kau no loto eki feka we poni kau fa feta eki eki aonga ita ki poka ama from the book of John sixteen chapter in verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Sione vahe tahano be si tol tolu ko tala nga himi ani ke te mo tol te ohi ke mo ma o ai fie marie i a te ao te mo ma o ai mamahi i mamani ka mo lo to to a ko i ku i a mamani. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ka o ia he foi he foi palo mesi he ki foi besi faka ofa ofa mo ni he fia fin. Hey, I have told you these things. Who say these words and to whom he said these words to? Oh. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. I have told you these things. This is the beautiful one of beautiful words from Jesus himself. Not from me. Not from anybody, not from your friend, not from your pastor, not from the prime minister. This is one of the beautiful words come exactly delivered by who? By Jesus himself. I, who? You know, the beginning of the word of the verse said, I. It really tell who? Who is that I? And who was that I? I have told you these things, meaning Jesus said, I have told you many things. These, this is talking about plural, not singular, not a single thing that he's saying. If it, if it was a single thing, he would say, I have told you these things, you know, this thing. But Jesus said, I have told you these things. So that means there were lots that he's, he is going to say, or he was going to say. So, right. no, he, he said, I have told you these things. No, this is a definite, definite word 
from Jesus himself. So that in me, and Jesus pointed himself, in me, you may have peace. This is a forewarning for listeners, viewers. This is a forewarning by Jesus himself. This is my word to you, my followers, my people, that you may have peace in me. You know, this, this is Otoka. This is really, I am really excited about this, this verse. You know, with, with so many things happening in the world. This is the first part of the verse. We're not going to touch the second part. We dwell on the first part because I want us to explore you know, to talk more and, and break out the, what Jesus really mean about this and, you know, why he said all these things to his followers. Um, Go and lay a cupau, be me hit a gota hapau. Eh? How I lay a gonu be my hey! Fagada da bet etoka. Cabau, a cafanongo. Cabau da mui mui hata. Fata unsure that though, if you're unsure about who your leader is, no? Um, and you don't know who your leader is. You don't really know who your leader is. And if that person comes forward and say, hey, I say all these things to you. You may find peace in me. What do you think? How will you react? You know, the Kayongo, if they pay or how we are my hay, go Dalaga Modol, the Moma Fimaria Yadiao. For a person you don't know that a person from any bar, get how find my lea goya. I don't think, I don't think that thou falala can lea goya. But here's a word from Jesus himself. Hey, followers, hey, listeners, viewers, I have told you these things so that you may have peace in me. What do you say about that? Do you trust? Do, what do you feel now? You know, that word has been spoken by Jesus to these, to the disciples. And, and now here we are tonight. Imagine, I want you to imagine if this was Jesus saying this to you and me tonight and our viewers, how are you going to react? For me personally, I feel it now. I feel this word, it's, you know, it's a definite guarantee word. Get there. out. Yes, of course. Deliver my fecal go in knee, get or tahako to a peck and no far more knee. He would hang a peck with Alcamata, my go, you forgot Ali for my own maker. Oh, no, 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 Yea, for hing at the to but the but the but the Nauongo he will lie a guy who now ta awo alu, quake power and makatu unga. Quake makatu unga o kuke tu uai. Quake power and makatu unga, who opened it in our work. The time you get along is so quotamago, fanongo, quake, who follow for lap of fight yai, or fatatawia getama of gulang honofarea on a year, ye maka. Kadak be toka kau ki hua tuai eh. Kadak be ki tuku imai mu aho ngai foi point ni faka ofo ofa koi na ihele a faka pita ni aki si inasia e kai nga koi ni. I know you can do it. Ki lave imai he ko ngai mi amahu inga na uke lave mai an. Please. I think this uh, this word it is speaking 
with the authority from assurance. It is bringing to you and me to be aware of what the situation will be we are going to go through as a believer. And that situation, it will be challenge you to see you are still believing God or no. But this only the situation will be shaking. Here in Tonga, it is shaking the believer to know for sure they will be believed this word. It is speaking to us, speaking to you, speaking to me. Mm -hmm. A lot of people from inside the church, they will be shaking around. They don't know it is the situation happened around us. We still believe the word God said, you have peace in me. Even the situation surround me, surround us, it will be challenge your faith also. And the one that Jesus said, whoever listen to my word and do, I consider it like a wise man who out upon the rock. The foundation of what you believe and you receive, this way you build your life. You're not safe because you are staying in a safe house. No. You're safe because the word of God is speaking to you and me. Right. That word it is will be speaking to you to know it is a stirring, it is a fam, the word it is bring. You see, here in Tonga and everywhere, the family, this broke up the family. And it is, you see, the young people, they lost hope and all those until they believe to have faith in God Amen. and have peace. I think they, they will, will be a firm foundation. That's why Jesus said, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. I knew about tomorrow. I knew yesterday. And I knew now. That's why I'm telling you now all this stuff. Because for you to believe in me and trust me, even the boat is going to be, a uh, wave is going to come in on the boat. Don't be shaking. I'm inside the boat. <laughs> Praise the Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> Viewers and listeners, uh, I do hope, I hope, and I know for sure that what uh, uh, Pastor Doka has mentioned, you know, it's it's really a, a, a build our li your life and my life on a solid foundation. But before we build our solid our foundation on a solid foundation, I want to draw our attention tonight to who really Jesus is, because I know there, there is one thing, one thing, uh, Brother Doka, that I know, if, if we are unsure, as I mentioned earlier on, for a stranger to just walk in and say, mm -hmm. hey, I'm your new leader, I, 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 I'm here to, to tell you to believe me, you will have peace in me for a new leader, to just walk in or a stranger, I don't think we, you know, he will earn our trust, you know. And but but for us to to build a, a foundation that is solid, we have to build it on things that we know. You know, in terms of, of talking about the leader, a good leader or the true leader, we have to know that person first. So tonight. I, I, I want to highlight this to our viewers and also for our listeners. If you don't know who your leader is, if you don't, or if you haven't known who Jesus is, I want to challenge you tonight. Please take time to read the word of God. Read the love letter from God, which is in you know the Bible. Get familiarize yourself with that because you really do need you really need to know who Jesus really is before you can you know build your foundation. Kainga donga okmo me amai ke tau ki polo kalama kweni ko tau polo kalama kweni ko polo kalama ko kalo tau lah ki peka ki tau tau ki hono tau etenga ke tau mai mo uifa fo itu itu. You know, 
o kaike pehe ya te alo pe au ye ye le le to ko taha ko ko pau pe ke foki mai ke si ka faki ha ke ai taha ko to and i know ko uhinga ya me allah ya e brother toka o ko fe ma wai ai ta ki polo kalama ko ni ko hingo ai ta ki polo kalama ko reformation ka ihe hange ko na glave ko ke ka ha u te ta foki le ke ta dai no molo tu ke ka pehe mai technician te ta de swap ka ha ho ta sai for us viewers, listeners, believers, followers, or how you name yourself, how how you you describe yourself in terms of knowing Jesus or following Jesus. And who he is and what his nature and all that. Be a malava leva ke apply i for palo mexico ini ki aki tau tau ho tau na hiloto you know if you if you haven't or if you still learning to know who he is no go go far for that ke carry on carry on with studying researching to know who he really is cuz that's is the very first step for you and for me to do is to get to know him first because knowing Knowing our Lord Jesus Christ is not just something that we, we hear from our friends, we hear from the preachers, we hear from the pastor, we, we read a book and know about it, you know, all the, these testimonies that we share. It's for you individually and for me personally to have a relationship with him. You know, you, we must get to know him first. When, you, when we know him first, then from there is the beginning of the journey. Sai, toka, hen o vatuka te koe ki taimi koe ni. Koe fo i konga uloa ki taimi, the first part of that verse, I have told you these things. You know, there were lots of things. That in me, you will find peace. Sio. You know, this is beautiful. Wow, I am so excited. You know, I praise God. I thank him for, for all of this. You know, I am here because of that, because of one of these things that he promised. Go and you pay my fita, brother toka, viewers and listeners. I have told you. I have told you. You know, he did warn that. I have told you these things. In me, you will find what? Peace. You know, I know Kagoeni, or Fima Begeta, Laka Laka Mama, Rima, and Hebezi, Keki, you know, to break it down, get a highlight, because we have two hours tonight. Don't you worry. We have two hours tonight. Get a lave lave, Gaboy Miagweni, Hegumahu Inga. This is one. This is one of the beautiful verses in the Bible that we need to highlight tonight. Keloto Eka Inga Godoabi. You know, Hegoin. If you have known Jesus, if you have walked with him, you know, how many years now you have walked with him in your journey, in my journey? Have you, have you actually found peace in him or not? Have you? How many years now you said, hey, I have been a pastor for 40 years. Okay, I said, congratulations. Thank you, praise the Lord. And you may say, viewers, listeners, you may say, hey, I've been a followers of Christ for 15 years, 20 years. Let me say congratulations, I thank you for following. But have you, have you actually experienced? Have you found peace to prove? What he told us was correct from the very beginning. This is so true. 
in the space of how we know him, what is your perspective, your worldview? How it is your worldview about God? You look at God, it is to meet your needs, or you are you longing to God to be because we are our first uh, um, agenda of our creation create us to be with him and uh, all those blessings it will be follow us amen one of the things if we look to, to this scripture it is encouraging us to see and affirm it is one of the things it is relate to what the uh, uh, Peter sharing because it is the scripture said, Remember, I, I was sharing in the beginning, mm. when God speak to me to go to India, as a new, fresh believer, I have no other question. I just, yes, sir, I'm going. We don't know it I'm going. It's just only I believe he speak to me to go. Amen. And because when I'm going, he said, his promise is that I will be with you always. And then, and see, the time of a long ago, the time ago, and now they take away your album with me, I lay a hot one coin me. They tell out with some only coin me. They tell not in game, game one. Then when I'm out, they tell me, I'm out of the world. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we plant watermelon, we plant sweet potato. As a missionary prepared to go, hmm. we have to use our own support to make to believe what God speak to us in, in John chapter 10, he talking about how you hearing the voice of God and how the sheep will follow because they know this is the voice of their shepherd. Mm. It is a key point here. If this is Jesus speaking, the disciple have to understand it is Jesus speaking the word. Mm. How many times can yes. speak to you? <laughs> But this is what it is. And when we prepare to go, 97, eight of us, mm. and when we prepare to go and we plant the watermelon, plant the sweet potato, we sold all those stuff and we didn't get our ticket, our airfare to go. You mean the, there wasn't enough money? Yes, we are, wasn't enough the money for the ticket oh, and all those right. And And we put our... our a passport in the in New Zealand immigration, yeah. and then uh, we, and we we trust God. That's the only part we blame, hmm. and the rest we know He will take care of it. Remember, Amen. we can we cannot play the hundred percent. Hmm. We play our part. God has to play His part. If you listen to His word, He's the one said, "You you will be have peace in me." Amen. Praise the Lord. The first of April, 1997, that is the day we mark, this is the day we have to and we know for sure we are not have our enough money for our ticket. For the eight and of us. Yes, eight of us. And mm. our passport is still in uh, New Zealand immigration. And we don't know, we have a visa to arrive in New Zealand or no. <laughs> but God say this is the day. And we heading to the airport, first of April, and then our leaders heading to town to see what the final. And when he arrived at the airline, he said, someone come and pay all your ticket. Wow. Until today, we have no idea who did it. Who paid for the tickets? Yes, wow. But we got word. Oh, yeah.
a kind of a no. Let me let me clear up something here for us to look at it. Ko tei mo urea o tua o fe mau ke tau fa pa pau urea o tua ko o tua o urea o ko ko tau tau o fa kau kau. Ko tei mo na mau pa i ko he fa kapuna o vale pu wa umai mau tagi o tamai. It's already final call the plane, and then uh, we rush everything in, and we uh, get through our luggage and everything. We got our ticket, we got our passport, we got our visa to arrive in New Zealand. Our oh, first yeah. to obey and follow Jesus' command, it is challenged from the day one all the way. And when we sat on the inside the um, the plane, and you knew we are all Tongan and Islander from Fiji, Samoa, and we are looking to each other, and he said, what are the kind of pocket money we carry with us for our mission? And we asked for someone brother, and someone brother said, oh, I have 10 paanga. And someone he said, I have five paanga. And they asked me, Toka, how much you have for you to carry in our mission? I pull it out with one paanga and 83 cents. <laughs> You have to believe God say that word. Praise the Lord. Kakoeni ogune tala hanga tonu mai peia heni ka tau tolu. Ko tala atua ni ogune. I am the one telling you, you will be happy in me. E kwa kwa mea kwa mahi ni ho tau tata no hefea vini e ka inga fanongo. Fa papau i e tama ogune tala mai a e feka o kakoe. Kwa mea hanga na peinga i ke fa papau i e ka u apostolo. Aia o gune tala fekau. He kutsena nau fononga pe nau tolu ya. So karo koe vesi vaheta hao noe ni. Karo koe vesi vaheta hafa ya. O nau toe kei faka fehu ya pe nau tolu ya tama o nau fononga holo mo ya. Maybe we go to church. You still questioning who you believe. Koe. Maha koe kei fehu ya pe koe ya. Kako lahi fokus tisho e ngahi ahoni. Pokoknya kita ulo pokok si sufe o gule aku kata tahu tolu. Kalau tu kata ini pokok hangai o papa pau yo mama o tua. You can hear God. Kau desi o kau ngai me amu oni kau ni. You are blessed to know. O kau kau tahaya naire amai kau tama pi nane fa o kau ye mana mau fa eh. He is the one speaking to you. He's speaking to you. He want to talk to you. Pag ito kata ka ngayon na mao ingaw po ito keke iloy. Kapaw ko tala may si kao ko ni. Si mao keke femi. Ako alo ko ngay. Ako tala no pika pao. Ako alo ko ngay ke kovi ako pito ko ngay. Ako mao keke femi. Ako pito, ako pito. Maria e fito. Praise the Lord. Wow, what a beautiful testimony that we've just heard from Brother Toka. Um... Talking about how they packed, there were eight of them, packed their bags, planned to move to India. And, you know, they, they planted watermelon and other crops to raise some funds for their air tickets. And up to that day, there was not enough money there for their tickets. Anyway, someone paid for their tickets. We don't know who. And Brother Doka and the whole team still don't know who. Uh, tonight, viewers, Toka, while you were talking, while you were talking, what comes to me uh, that, uh, while you were still sharing about this word go? Go. Mm. Well, the first account of the word go that I can think of, I fool for a layer that the layer gonna wang again, Noah. Go into the ark. See? Mm. Go. Go to the land that I will show you. Then he even told Moses, go and bring the Israelites out of Egypt. 
while you were sharing your testimony, you know, and, and in the Bible, in, in the New Testament, there are lots mentioned about the word go. Mm, right. <laughs> Do you guys, it didn't make sense to you guys. And even nowadays, viewers, listeners, some of the, of the things, or even if you heard God say go, you know, you may think, oh gosh, this, this doesn't make sense to me. What does he mean go? You know, and even God say your call. You no, know, God's call on your life doesn't make sense to you. And you may say, why me? Why me, God? Mm. No, that's his call. Even God's plan, God's plan for your life, sometimes, or maybe it doesn't make sense, doesn't make any sense. And then we can end up and say, why? Why is this, Lord? Mm. The destination. Mm. God's destination doesn't make sense to some people. They may say, they may say, or I may say, why there? Why take me there, Lord? So that's the destination. What about the time? For even his time, God's timing doesn't make sense to some people. And we may say, why now? God, why now? You know, all those moments, we either going to trust God enough to yeah. obey him. You know, because our trust, for us all to know, is our trust enough to obey him? I thank you, Brother Doka, for sharing the testimony with us tonight. So coming back to our verse tonight, for you guys, there were eight of you guys. You went to India, you know, and I have heard in the news, it's a big country population, you know, baby booms every day and, and all this and that. And I have seen, there are some people out on the street, you know, but for you to go and experience that, I know later on in our program next week, or the, you have heaps of times to share what you saw, what you experienced in India. But I want to ask you something, Brother Doka, with this verse, this promise, because you have been there. You have been there. Did you actually confirm this verse with you? Did you found peace in, in him while you were in India? Yes, thank you, uh, Fida. Uh, it is co-related to what I, my testimony is part of it, but I'm trying to refer to this verse because in, in the first verse, I have told you, I have peace in the midst of million people because I know who is the one told me to go to India. Hallelujah. <laughs> I, even sometime in India, I forgot I'm a, I'm a Tongan. Yeah. And so it is, I, I go with people on the street, on whoever people it is there on the station, it is, it is, for me, it is normal because I feel peace. Because one of the things, uh, uh, Fida, I, I reflect back to India, I forgot to have a word dangerous. Mm. All right. Because I have peace in my heart. And one of the, one of the, the things, Fida, it is really bless me. You know, every time I, I left from my house, it's no guarantee of coming back. Every day, if I left to the market or left to the thing, I have peaceful. It doesn't matter. If I die, I die. It is, it is I know who is the one tell me to go to India. It's not, it's, it's not, a, it's not the prime minister. It's not my parents. It's not Wawan. It is not pastor. He is the one told me. I told you, I have told you all these things. And this is the one I depend on it. 
And I tell you, I enjoy in India. I, I never come back for 13 years. I was there for 13 years. Flu. You must have loved it. You must have loved oh. it there. <laughs> yes, I enjoy it there. And life, it is full of colorful life there. You get the world and you get the best. And you see God, it is no wonder. No wonder some of you said the safe place when you are in God's will. No matter how dangerous the situation, no matter how dangerous the environment, but you know you are in where God called you, you are peaceful. You are enjoying the life there. You found because, peace. Oh yeah, I found peace. I am enjoying there. No matter what. Yeah. I am in the deep hardship of a land I was there. I tell you, I am enjoying. It's like I'm enjoying here in Tonga. And when I came back here, when I came back here, I'm not feeling peaceful here in Tonga. <laughs> you should. Go it is your country. <laughs> yes, but, but see how God brings us back to Tonga for some purpose. And then we filing, finally we're feeling peaceful. But this in India, oh, I was in Bangladesh, I was in uh, Pakistan, part of Pakistan, I was in Middle East. Oh, I fly around there, fly through death, but I'm peaceful, I enjoy. <laughs> Life is colorful. Because I, yes, because I trust the person he told me to go. It's the same thing, this person here. I have told you, I I have told you all this thing. That means it is, I trust him, I depend on him. Life and death is belong to him. Even, even Fida, I told my mom here in Tonga before we left from the airport, I told my mom, if I come back, praise the Lord. If I'm not come back, praise the Lord. But if I come back into the box, praise the Lord. <laughs> God, you didn't come back in your coffin. You're still alive and well, and we can still see you today. Because he's faithful. He's a faithful God. Uh, he's faithful to his word. And it is beautiful, beautiful to, to see this word. It is a fan back to me. He is the one telling me to go. It's not and that's what thing in Maum, they emphasize that one. He asks you where God called you, and then you go according to that. Even some of our friends in Africa, I would say, Africa is dangerous. No, they are feeling peaceful in Africa. They don't, they enjoying with people in Africa. The people in China, they enjoying with people in China. So it is very dangerous. No, they're enjoying because God, I have told you all these things Amen. because he's the one telling them to go. Wawam is only facilitate you to where God called you to go or go to India or oh, India is dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous, but God is bigger than India. And then he's the one telling me to go to India. The people go to India. To all the, it is it's beautiful to know who tell you to go and who tell you to do something. Wow, what a beautiful testimony. I didn't expect to hear that, but hey, thank you. And I know our viewers, our listeners, they really appreciate your testimony tonight. Later on in our program next week, and those, you know, we've got every week left now for you to share what you did and, you know, the life in India. So viewers and listeners, what Brother Doka has just shared with us, you know, that's a, that's a challenge for most of us. Some of us followers, believers, that we profess, that we declare, oh, I'm a, I'm a believer. You know, I'm a follower of Christ, but we don't want to go through things that, that the Lord or not to say go. You know, when, when God say go, some people step back, you know, because not only they don't trust but because they don't know who yeah. is the person who's sending them i am really glad the reason why you know what comes to me when you were sharing 
that you you be able to hear the voice, you know, the voice of the person who sent you, you know, and, right. and for him to send you, I know you be able to hear him. And this, this that's why you did what you did. It because right. you heard his right. voice. He was calling you to go, and there you are. You know, that's where you, you you've done that part for 13 years. 13 years. Wow. It may seem, you know, unbelievable. It doesn't make sense to some people, Brother Doka. But you did it. You did it well. Go with one banger and 33 cents. 83 cents to live in a country <laughs> with he billion people. He multiplied it. He multiplied huh? it. Huh? Yes, of course. He, and see, our human mind cannot cope to understand when God does something. It is beyond our mind. Capacity of our mind, you know, sometimes we're we acting smart, but our capacity of our mind cannot get a hint of what God it is trying to do in our life. Even I don't understand how I manage with one bang and 83 cents. For 13 years, no wonder he said, what is impossible to men, it is not impossible to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow wow yes. and even i i trying to figure it out i trying even my son they asked me papa how how you manage in india with all those things i said son even if i don't understand how can anyone understand is only god i have told you that one i have told you I went to India, it is it's totally, even this is my first time to get out of Tonga. It's just out from a paradise of the Pacific to a massive population. Less than 1%. They, they are Christian. Oh, and less than, other religions there. Of course, and less than 1%, they have the word of God there. Wow. Wow. And, and, and see, for us, we have the Bible, and we not yet understand what the guy is saying to us. We read it, it is like, as we read it, we read it. Do we ever willing to obey what it is the word saying to us? It is delivered from the creator to a creation, but the creation removed the word. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Wow. That's fantastic. That's, that's beautiful for us to hear what you went through. And, you know, viewers and listeners tonight, uh, you've heard yourself. I don't need to rephrase. You, you've heard Brother Doka shared his testimony tonight. Go do yao e Doka. Hefia fini. Hiri koni e polokalama hefia fini. All viewers and listeners tonight will be able to hear. To hear the word yeah. go. You know. Hage koni. Go una I mentioned earlier on the first account of go 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 into the ark. Moses is lady. go 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 and you found peace. You found right. peace. You know, end result And this is the end result. You have peace in me. I'm really glad. Tafonga get out, young, eh? Look, I lie, or do I hit out for Gaukau? 
Et là, il faut que tu aies un peu de la vie. Tu as dit que 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 tu as He's a mighty God, eh? But yes. Oh, yes. 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 You will have trouble. In this world, you will have trouble. But, who are you but? But, mm. take heart. I have overcome the world. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Okay, so Tonight, and to all our viewers and our listeners tonight, I don't think I have come across any text in the Bible that say, you come follow me, and then everything will be sweet and sweeter and the sweetest. Mm. Here, this version say, in this land or in this world, you will have trouble. So Jesus was crystal clear about this to you viewers and to me too, and also to Brother Doka. He did point out he didn't know, he, he didn't say, oh, maybe, there was no maybe there. This is a definite uh, promise from him or definite instruction, definite forewarning or how you put it. He said, in this world, in this land where we are living in, you will find trouble or you will have trouble. But, but, Take heart, I, I, Jesus, I have overcome everything. Mm. How is that? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? You know, I, uh, maybe I don't want anybody there to say, hey, um, I was born to this world and I'm, I have been living for 45 years in this world. I haven't come across any trouble. Because this is a word from Jesus himself. He said, Vita, you will have trouble. Toka, you will have trouble. Everyone, you will have trouble. There will be obstacles in this life that you will face. You will um, walk in a dark tunnel. You know, there are so many situations that we face in this world. But here, he said, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Meaning, mm -hmm. I have come through every single thing's happening. Mm -hmm. Brother Doka, well, I leave it up to you now. Please, share with our viewers, share with our viewers what... <laughs> Maybe in Australia it's sweet that follows this. <laughs> There's no icing on the cake here. Morning, I'll be the foggy cheetah. I'm a go get a vahe vahe kiai. 
ka e lava pe ia pita ke kehe kehe e ti peni pe ia me from the price you pay to follow Jesus. Amen. When when the price, if you are not paying much price, you are not going to pay. It is talking about. It is. It depends. If you are go only for uh, twenty mile, you are not paying much petrol. But if you go for a thousand mile, you pay a huge price for it. And that's when, and you, and you see that is the part of our differences of our following what God is speaking to us. Then some, you go to church, you come back home, you enjoy your food. That's all. But when you come to the reality of your heart desire, willing to follow Jesus, you will be encountered with this scripture. The people, they will mocking at you. The people, they will criticize you. The people, they blame you. The people, these are all the things because the closer you close to God, the reality of this scripture will be take place. <laughs> will become and effective. If, <laughs> and if you are going to church and come back home, it is nothing going to be, you are never going to understand this scripture. The scripture, oh, sang as is we from Matala Yang, I umang and so a story that had come out to me in India, he wafta valu, but I'm a missionary and I think I can unlook he people group we out to get a guy at the study. And I think I could get a year, he know for sure he will die. But I had a statement where he was going to get a day and then. Better for me to die, but for the gospel to reach to those people. Peaceful, peaceful, he will die. So I'm going to ilo uko e me ako ya, ako upsayang kia ya ke mate, kaya we gospel ya ke kai ko. Ay ko, ang ako ko ko, kung ako ni ko ko po po, mata siya po kia ya. O kung mahuin ako, there will be safa, eh, kaya tika safa ko eh, hono po no po pe ko eh, mua pi, fie maari e pe. When you come to follow Jesus, kapag tigil lao, tano ko ko sa tempo na na how ko pita o Jesus ko ke for ke for Maui, tempo na how ko yao ko for for a na muy muy a pita from a distance. Ula yao pita tau Christian na muy muy from a distance. Following from a distance, we need to come close and closer and closer. Kapatid, tau hau e fita ki e tohi ko na aluke vahe nima. Tano e koe koe hau koe koe si su, koe hau koe si su ke madata e kensele tu. Fon mu e kaka i e. Heka ke vaka pita ta ta hat pe kiloto fai me ne malanga. Pogo ne oska pa ne talang e re vaka pita pita. Ta hat ta hat u ki he loloto. Talang e pita i e. Si su, koe talo e ne ma unga ue a ne po ahau koe ke ma uha me a i. Kako uhinga ko ho o folo fola, I will obey. Pako ne tahataha tu koe koe ke loloto, pe na e liko na kupe nga pa na ilope talanoa. I kako na e mao. Fita, papa te ke nofpe kita e mata uto uta e kaite ke fita ula ko mu mana si hova. Kako lahi pe e tau pe salon haleluya pe me he mata one one pe. He kai ke tau kupe nga tau to. He kai ke so ke tem ko na o se ko mana o tuwa ko ni pe na to ma pe ele va pita pe ntalang sisu di pa to mi an masina me afika o laki ke tau ilo ko ya nga hala ki tau to Oh yes mu yo ofi ke foro fola ko ni pa te tem ko ko te tau o ko fetak me fai nga ta you feel peaceful you know who you are saving pe te ko ko pe ko ko ta bo ki ho ilo i Tak ada lagi tahap fokus kita kalau tahu mui mui pe, aku tahu Kristian yang kau mau fuat pe, mau pe mea kotoi. But when you come encounter reality with the Son of God to obey His calling, that is the time you come to understand you will be facing all these situations. Kalau kalau mesti fokus kau mai ya, kalau mesti ia nane ikut na ia ia maman. 
Yes, o kaya fenga ta au tau fo mai ai. Pe tem ko ko a fenga ta a ka ke ilo i o ko ke talango fo a pe ke mui mui ke folo folo ko e ni. O ilo i you will be blessed. You will be blessed because you knew in your heart what I'm doing. It is already written in the book. Praise the Lord. Wow. <laughs> the more you say, the more excited I am. And I, I know all, all our viewers, you uh, know, they count it as their blessing too, to hear from you tonight. Um, <clears throat> while you were sharing, um, it comes to me that, you know, you, are, you and me are here tonight. Uh, there are things that you have gone through in your life. There are troubles in your life. Um, May he get sing golo out of my head. I mean, you know, they came only before for a year. No, in this world, you will have trouble. The Okumata get a getting a trouble, get get get, eh? Okuka get how be a trouble, he have for a line better. It comes in a how, oh, hang a go how in a how. How hang a hime a get a get, oh, how I go get it out all, he have for my money going. Kakumahu inga get out illoy. When we have our Lord Jesus Christ in us, you know, we have peace. You know, that's his promise. Um, and, yeah. and for our viewers tonight, if you are watching tonight, if you are going through uh, uh, things that may, maybe your neighbor don't know, maybe your parents don't know, maybe your husband don't know, maybe your wife don't know, but there is something that you bury inside you, you know, and you don't find peace. This verse tonight, I want to highlight this verse tonight to you. This is a promise for you tonight. You know, mm -hmm. in this world, we will have trouble. But remember, please do not forget Jesus mm -hmm. has overcome that. He overcame everything. He has been through that. <laughs> you know, this, this, um, this phrase that we always hear, hey, I've been there, done that. You know, mm. this is exactly, this is what Jesus is, is saying tonight. Whatever mm. you're going through, Fita, viewers, listeners, mm. brother Doka, mm. whether it's, you know, a small problem or whatever that you face every day, please take heart. Remember, I have overcame that. I have experienced that. There is no need for us to worry. There is no need for us to get stressed about it, to depress about it, because it's going to wreck our life. Jesus said, find peace in me. Mm. You know, because I have already told you all these things. You will find peace in me. And remember, I have overcome that. So it comes to me about our faith. Mm. Our faith. Um, sometimes our uh, our situation, sometimes our circumstances, you know, it have a huge effect or impact our faith. Mm. But for us believers, you know, we have said, yes, I am a follower of Christ. You know, I mm. proudly say I'm a woman of God. I proudly say I am a pastor of God. But hey. Let me remind us all tonight, you know, we will find trouble, but we will find, at the same time, we will find peace, you know, in Jesus. Um, what comes to me in now? Because this, I'm talking about obstacles that we face in life every day. Um, it, it reminds me about the story of Joshua. You know, there were certain things that God said to Joshua, do this, do that, you know? Mm. And, and, and for us individually, we must come to know what is God's instruction? What is God saying to us in terms 
of the obstacles that we face every day. Mm. Um, as you, you know, when my husband passed away, Doga, as you know, you know, people say, oh, when your loved one passed away, you, you know, you feel this, that's the end of your journey. You know, you feel, oh, you feel depressed, you know, the loss and sorrow and all this and that. And it's, it looks major to some people. And some people, they break down. They have a nervous breakdown. They go through hell of a lot in this world, you know, for losing a loved one, for losing someone so dearly to them. But when we, when we know our Lord Jesus Christ, when this, this verse here highlighted and remain in us, we know that we expect to find all this trouble in this journey, in this land, in this world that we are in. Right. So thank God that even though we're going through this and that, you know, we go through little things or big things or big, how you name it. Tonight, the promise is you will find peace in me. But before we find peace, we must come to know who is giving the peace. Right. And we must come to know, you know, how big is he? How big is the provider? You know, the giver, the one who's right. giving the peace, the one that you come, you know, it's so good. You know, we rely, we come and and rely on him. We feel, we feel him. Then we know, oh yes, I, I feel his peace. But brother Doka, yeah. looking at the world these days, there are so many people, so many people out there in the whole world that are confusing these days. You know, mm. that they, they, they are stressing out these days that they are going through a mental, men, you know, mental problem these days, right. you know, because of what's happening in this world right now. Right. But let us assure, assure people tonight, hey, mm. get to know Jesus. Get to know Jesus as soon as possible. Tonight is the night for us to get to know him. Get closer to him so you know the peace. So you experience the peace that he's promising to us. You know, we will find trouble. We will go through this and that. Rest assured we find peace in him. No, we can uh, have a lot of story in the Bible. We can see when even Joseph, when he trying to follow God's calling, he have trouble through all the way to the destiny where he's, he go down to the MD1, he come up, the brothers sold him. See all those trouble, but Joseph have peace in his heart. He knew God, it is bring him a dream for a purpose. Okay. And it is good going all the way to the top to be a prime minister. For him, see, it is when you when you know God calling in your life, then you know for sure you will be go through. And sometimes when you go through a trouble, don't lose hope. His promise, I am be with you. Always. When the time we go to him, my eye, yeah, don't think if I see all of that old people high at the corner, my he is there. But go here, or go here, he can hang at the corner, he get out of. But when he was, he he was here, he was here, he was here. But that time, he was with Maria, a bit fit. My wife was not from this man. The Lord, the fuck, my God, love, go, go, I would talk, go, go, I come away from this man. They write exactly the same thing you have been through. Yes, they've been there. Yeah. And they've been there. They write about Ukeheya, Mutaha, Nofopeya, or Laweto, he, Maria, Ia, Tapuaki, have no idea what life it is out there. Oghangepea, go for a follow-up on my Sizu, 
when it's a money, but when it is a papa in my gut out of me. Come on, guys. Here I'm telling you. Come here, I hope Manatu, I have been there. Because we may have see, see, I'll be there at our toll bell. This is where our problem now. Come on, the big more at our Manatu. Can I have the toll bell? 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 Oh, one I see sure to remind me, Manatu, Manatu, Faya, Koipu, Pemoy, Ma, Pemoy, Meako, from Manatu, Manatu, Peke, Meako, yeah. But I'll talk about it, because I can't more it on Manatu, eh? Oh, yeah. I see sure for Manatu in my place. I have been there. I promise you, you found peace in me. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's right. We need to know who we are in Christ. Who he is. Now, talato. Good for us to know who Jesus is. O time ko ere a mai ai o ko ke ilo i ko hai ko a ure a mai. Pati ki hangare fwa fe hoa naki, fwa fe tau laki le vanga hi toti ke ke ilo. Wow! It is amazing, this guy, it is who he is. Ko ye ya ko falala ke, ho ko e fai nga ta a ya. I still praise God. Ko ilo pe o ke, pina ke kama crossfit a he tohi ko ya ko e prison to praise. I got to praise God before thing I'm married. God provide me thousand dollars. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I'm going to go to Hawaii. I'm going to go to Hawaii. Praise the Lord. No, you have to praise the Lord in every season because you know who He is. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I've been overcome the past. I am that's one of the one of the beautiful promises for my Kika Boni, you know, so there's no need for us to panic. There's no need for us to, to get sick about it. Even there are some of us, you know, we like to complain. We like to moan. Every little things we moan, we complain. Eh? But here, that's part of the plan. No, that's part of the plan. What we're going through in life, in this world, in this land. You know, that's part of his plan. He will, he was at, at the beginning, and he is waiting at the at the other end, the Alpha and, and the Omega. You know, right. so I mm. yeah, yeah, oh, I'm going to get for If we complain and we moan 
about little things that we that come our journey, uh, our path. You know, every single day, the closer we get, we try and get closer to God. Or you know. เออนะสิก็ตัวเบียเอานะแต่ก็เข้ากันได้ว่าเกี่ยวกับเอ่อเกี่ยวกับเวสิกอนี่ก็เนี่ยไอ้ปาโลเมสเนี่ยได้มา
follow how you know to go it doesn't currently you're going to heaven if you're going to church you're not going to church every day then it is billy graham said you're not born in a in a christian home then you're a christian no you have a relationship with jesus that's only the currently of going to heaven Therefore, since we have a, such a large cloud of witness surrounding us, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily entangle us. Let us run with endurance the race it set before us. God is a consuming fire. I de ausia palo messia I o tuan ta no ga he basico. Amen. O tu ka pode no fo pe uia uhi uhi nga be. Kelo here in Tonga when we talk a lot of people they talk about mission. I came to New Zealand to speak in one of a conference there about mission. There are a lot of pastors, a lot of people was there been working for so many years. But when I was talking about mission, it's different when they study about mission. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you talk about God's promise, it's different when you are in the midst of God's promise. Oko <laughs> Oh, <laughs> They have four bombs was there. And that four bomb it is try to transport it to some other place. And when and when I when they remove it, the bomb squad come and they remove it out of the train. And when we came back, I was sitting there and then I said, ah. This scripture, it is true. His promise, even you go through all those things, remember, I have been there with you. I am in peace. No one knows where I am. But the promise I Otua, I will be with you. And I know you wherever you're moving around. See, If I tell the stories recently, yeah, Friday, not not last Friday, but Friday before. Before. I, yeah, eight of eight of October. Me and my son and his friend, we met an accident in a vehicle. Our vehicle, we drive to town and hit from behind. And it is glass from behind and uh, airbag blow up from in front. And because we are hitting the vehicle in front. Yeah. And when this come down, I 
I tell my son and his friend, hey, come out. I put them down. I run to the vehicle hitting us and to helping them to bring the uh, old people was inside, outside and bring the water to them. And when he finished, my son told me, Papa, you are very calm and peaceful, even the situation it is the very situation. Yeah. Son, when you are in Christ, you need to know when the situation happened. He's not far from us. Yeah. The word never come flesh in our life. We still have a separation with the word. Whatever situation we have been through, that we look here for a full line or two. Okay, then what about how can I go about the name of the we are saved by his grace and his life. Prophet, <laughs> 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 This is major. This is a major, major problem. Eh? And people say, oh, there's no way out. There's no way out here. Right. For all these problems that, that we are facing these days, it reminds right. me when Jesus said to Peter, come out of the boat, walk on the sea. Eh? Right. And, you know, all these things that we are facing now, that we're going through now. You know, it's impossible. Impossible, what happened? Yes, Peter managed to walk not on the water, in yeah. the water, you know. Right, what we are facing these days, viewers. I know our viewers are still watching. Thank you for still joining us. Or if you are watching after, after the live, I want to encourage you. Whatever you're facing. If if you're not, no, if the pandemic is not your problem, it's not your worry, fine. But maybe now go yai be hamme a faka eloto, faka tau taha ya te go that you're going through quietly, silently, iho loto fale, iho api, iho va mohaka gai kehe, va mohaka unga mea, hauka mea, hau va mohataha. Solution It's available anytime. Anytime available. It, 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 Oh. Listeners, viewers, we won't be able to move from this spot to another spot. solution. The promises are out there. The promises are free. I have told you all these things. Mm. Get tune in yet week. Tune your life tonight. You know, maybe the reason why we are still facing the same thing. Maybe the reason why uh, you know this problem was this this much, but today it's like this. It's because 
we're distant from him. You know, right. we, we haven't attempted to come close to him or come closer to him. You know, he is waiting, patiently waiting for you and for me. You know, yeah. he said, my promises are out there. Take my yoke. You know, it, it's easy. You know, got burden goya. It will be heavier, <laughs> heavier today, mm. heavier tomorrow, and so on like that. And there will be a time. You know? Right. If you want to grow, if you want to go forward, mm. please get to know, get to know Jesus tonight. Right. You know, as soon as possible. If you're sick and tired of the problem that you are facing every day, many years now, you know, you feel I'm going back. I'm, I want to go forward, three steps forward. I'm going back, five steps backward. There is a reason why you're going through that. So tonight, I want to encourage you all. We will face trouble. We will come across trouble. But he has guaranteed. He has yeah. done it to Joseph, to Joshua, to Moses, to Noah, to Abraham. He's still doing it for you and for me. Right. You know, they are available. He is available. We mm. know we have Facebook sometimes when we had a big uh, down last week or last month. We couldn't connect. Thank God we still can connect to Lord, to our God. Right. You know, whether the, the phone line is down, you can still connect. Just mm. tune in your heart tonight. Tune in your heart tonight to our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. He's got the solution for you, for whatever you're going through. I've been there myself. I've been there, you know, and I have shared my testimony before. Last year, I have shared my testimony and my journey, you know, and I will still share my, my testimony with you guys, with you all, viewers. We learn from it. A solution can make a good job. Doctor, I'm not going to see the people there. They'll fuck a dog and not yet. But I'm not going to see the people there. And I know what of behavior people there. Don't tell me I can't fuck out counselors. Eh? Oh, what? What? Oh, my. How will counsel? I'm going to phone her. How will I'm going to phone her? Phone her. Be an auto. Or see a co. Be a. Can I will counsel Aki? See, a broken heart, mental illness, my mari no for palo palema, eh? Kagayo no came out get to and I'm what we who found a tapu. But hey, you know what happened? It didn't work. Now, if I would get to Ongagoya, now for along I will hear you if I hop on, be our seal don't know why toga, eh? Then I'll spend the hepule and I a billion, a billion, a get train a go counselors. Now I got a lot of a matter, I ballo bar in my yard. Eh, be a now for a amwal aho, a yay had time you gonna walla my king away a key follow for a good one. Get introduced at the sea soon, quite tardy be a get ballo bar in my. Eh, go good, quite bon, go on my. Get it out all. Cadora. Going up, Ossipe Gulea Goni, and to go on a river Catoca and the Fagama of Opera da Bulgalama, the Hiri Wapa de Dow to Faga Ossipe. Go a tari Kipalo Palema de Dow face Goni. If that is if you don't or you can't find peace, go a tari Gai, go Unumai, go get to know Jesus. How do you get to know Jesus? Set a goal that you are going to say, okay, today, 
I'm going to draw a line here. I am not going to negotiate or compromise with you because I am sick and tired of this that I you know what I have gone through. I'm going to go forward. You know, say that to yourself. I'm going to go forward and I'm going to go closer to God. I'm going to go close to him. You know, the whole truth about it, viewers, some and lots of people out there, they are confusing. They don't know what, 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 where the answer comes from. They don't know the answer to their life. If you want to go forward with your life tonight, let me encourage you tonight. Please read your, your, your scriptures. Read the Bible, the love letter. If you have ever read a love letter before, that's fine. That's good. But the real love letter, it's all written in the manual book. You know, get closer to our God. Pray, pray so that you can, you can build a relationship with God. That's if you're willing to. But if you're happy with the way you are, remain but when you turn around, it will be too late. So tonight, before I hand over the time to pass the docker for the summary, you know, if I had born. And I know there are some people out there going through broken heart. I went through that too. You know, I want to declare, yes, there was times, you know, I went through broken heart, lots of tears, you know, but thank God I switched my life on and I said, no, that's enough. I am going back. I am going back to where? Going back to the source. That's where you get the solution from. The yoke is easy. All you need to do is just tune your heart to show you where the star is. No, show you, you need to go mm -hmm. back to the beginning. So yeah. our time is, is coming to the end, to an end. Mm -hmm. We've got 10 minutes. I'm gonna hand over the time to Brother Docker mm -hmm. to say something. Then after that, he can say our last prayer for tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Malo a bit of it, I could do your go. Umon a bit of my men, I get a no me gayo go, catch a go, Fagauka, Hotanoga, Honga, Wegi, youth, Gonakoi, my father, Hopo, eh? Yeah, youth that they from a Seneca counselor, Geo, Ako, Geo, Mayo, Tony, and Ahikakayo, and Ahipalo Pare, Mape, Oku. Company factory, eh? manufacture company, Toyota, company. To the manufacturer. <laughs> if now at David, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. He is the one whose idea of about you, his creation about you. He knew in and out all the main, the blood flowing in your mind and in your body. 
he knew everything about it. Sai. But how can get to go to a Selen Maya? Wahi wa vesi taha taha o furu mo taha taha o ne tala mai o kuya e ngai palani mo ta mo aga te ko ko palani fuka of of o si set ko ko palani a ko ya iloto he ta mo ui ko ta wa o mai ko ha ta o ko na ko ta wa whatever age you are being there now don't ever think the plan and the purpose is come to at the end you still need to be unlock those plan and purpose about if you reach 40 wow imagine the plan and a purpose from 40 to 50 to 60 to 70 to 80s it is a huge plan god it is for in your life and my life those plan and those plan need to be unlocked the situation maybe it is only a slight Oku ke struggle ai ho palo pane ma to ame oku ke struggle mo ya o ai more ho amanaki oku ke lahi ano ai palani mo foto tu mo ofa o tua mo ene kele tu o ana nga ta ho palani ka ba ke he tolu no a pe he wa no a pa ke pe ko ite ha tar ikai te ke a o ke ni ma no a te ke si o ki mu iwe he ka palani ko timeline te ke si o ki mui na e faka atape o tua ke ke fou mai ai ke ilo ia e ne kele si mo e ne me si mo e ne ofa ki a te koe. Ko tu ka taha e mai mea mau inga o pito he tau tata no he te afini. Ke ke ilo i, ko tu nga wau ke hau mo ui e tai nimi ka pau ku, ko taha e mea ko fata no alahi o pito ko koha. O koe tangata ilo o pito mala e lotu ko Dr. Ravi Sakaraya. Pe he 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 tamai o eki koe ni, na ne finga e ke to ne mo ui he ne tau ta fitu ba finga e to ne mo ui pa to rescue mai na ho ko ia ko to ta ta po ki ke fuka kai me ne tau ta fitu ke ne tau fitu fa imagine ne fu tai mi ko ia ai ka kai o ta po ke na mo ui fe fe ka bon ma te he ne tau ta fitu ba wa le ba me o kala no ge for for la e faka mau ihe o tua fata tau mo ene palani na etu kuya koe e faka bana ma de ndau ta fitu ko fu palani mo fu kaka i koe o ku ha u koe e e ke atu ka koe ko ya ko kai ke ke iloi ai fitu do tonu ton ke ke foki ki ai palo mesia o tua ko tu ka na pa no tonight it is a night for you to know it is come to a point to unlock the potential was stored in you, to reform it and restore it and release it. Because when you release it, it the thing is stored for you in you. It is not for you. It is for others. Oh, yeah. It might be for someone. Maybe in your island, you never see a mango eat mango. I never see it here in Tonga. Mango it is for others. The fruit of the mango it is for others, not for the mango. God blessing and thing in your life it is for others. Kapoto ta usi o dia ko umeko kalano ka for for la ko ni hefe afini. O ko tala ka tek motolo nga me ani ko uhi ke mo mau. I fear Mary, that peaceful in your life, it might be for others, not for you. It might be blessing in your life, it might be your testimony, it is for others. Oh, yeah. I, never, I never see a coconut drink coconut. I never see a papaya eat papaya. Papaya, it is for the bird. What a blessing in your life, it is for someone else is waiting for the blessing. How about all the help of God in my ki he mo ui ko ia koe, tal tari mai, ke hoko e mea koe 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 flua i koe taa pua ki gene mo ui. Mahal pe hoko koe solution ki he ene mo ui, mo ene situation. See, it is good for us to think outside the box, then we see God blessing in you, for you to know what you struggle, it is only for a season, for you, it is for you to blessing to others. I have no idea my struggle, what thing I went through in India, is not for myself, it is for others. But the it is for people. Yeah. 
people need to think it is what thing it is in you, it is for others. You need to unlock that one. We got Billy Graham, na netaria si su i netau tahau no. Ko netaria na si su kai va tolfa i na netaria si su i malanga evangelio ko ni. And mo i na is not for himself. It is for o wasi ko mea ko toko wangeau tahani ma million na kakai na tapo aki he mo u i Billy Graham. Mahal na kutang na kakai i aki ho mo u i. It is what is in you, it is for others. But me when I know for for you, it is for others. Go do you come along, Alpito, if you have any kind of a no, go viewer, if you are listening to this one, remember what is in your life, it must be for others also. They are waiting, the solution, it is in you. For you to go through, like what Jesus said, I have been through. When I go through the Sisu, I pay how great my way is Sisu. Or tell you that I don't follow my own path. Thank you for listening, and thank you for this evening of our sharing. Fita, thank you for inviting me to be part of this one, and uh, even thank you for the Elohim Podcasting Network. Thank you for allowed even for us to know we build this one is not for ourselves; it is for others. This one, it is my life is for others. My it life is, is, is for others. <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> Our life is for others. Go do a hoko ya kweta puaki mo falotola. Ofa ge fai tapu ki mo motolo eki. Sebi fa taulotu. Be oska pa fa foki atulema. Heavenly Father, thank you for this evening. Yeah. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. Yes, Lord. You promised to us here, Father. Mm. What thing we have going to be go through, we need to have, we still have peace in our heart. Even the storming around, surrounding us, they have a storming in our family, in our community, in our society, mm. in our working place. But inside us, we have peace because of you. And that peace, we have in you, Lord God, it might be for others. The potential, the gift, the talents you store in us, it might be for others, Father. Bless us to be a blessing to others. Bless this program, Father, and we commit it to your hand. Let your name be glorified, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you all. We'll see you back here next week, Monday from 9 p.m. to 11 o'clock. 9 p.m. Yes. New Zealand time and Tongan time. Bye-bye for now. Yeah, my love it. <laughs>